Marcy's law debate took center stage inside the Sarasota courthouse today. This was the scene outside the courthouse where several protesters gathered to protest its use in one local case. Their issue, a Sarasota judge's injunction that stopped a local newspaper from publishing the names of deputies involved in the fatal April shooting of a man. 10 Tampa Bay's Adure Achumba was in the court for parts of the proceedings. Adure. Lawyers for the Sarasota Herald Tribune and the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office laid their cases before a judge this afternoon. Now, the hearing today was in relation to that April 1st incident, the shooting incident of a 65 year old black man named Jeremiah Evans. Now, the two deputies are now identified as Doe 1 and Doe 2. They went to execute an eviction at a residence on Palm Avenue where they said Evans was squatting and refused to leave. They claimed he lunged toward them with a knife and a taser was deployed, which did not subdue Evans before the fatal shot was fired. Now, a reporter with the Herald Tribune recently attempted to verify a name that was on one of the memos from the state attorney's office. Now, according to the officials, the memo was inadvertently sent without proper redactions. But the Herald's position is that the documents in question are public records, whether redacted or not, and should not fall under the protection of Marcy's law which in Florida protects a victim's right to privacy by not making their name public. Now, here's an exchange from the hearing when the counsel for the Herald Tribune referenced what appeared to be a badge number to be included as an exhibit. Okay, Your Honor, I've got an objection. This is Marcy's Law. This is it right here. This is a disclosure. This is what Marcy's Law is designed to prevent, is the disclosure of any information that would identify the victim of a crime. And that's why Marcy's Law exists. So we move to strike that testimony and we need to stop asking about the identity of Doe 2. Your Honor, I'm not asking about the identity of Doe 2. I'm just asking what this number means. I don't know who this is. Now, earlier in the afternoon, that coalition of protesters, including Black Lives Matter, gathered at the court grounds uh, calling for accountability and saying that this should not apply to law enforcement. Now, the Sarasota Sheriff's, uh, Sheriff, uh, Sheriff Hoff Hoffman, that is, sent a statement in part stating that the law is currently uh, being appealed in another case at the Florida Supreme Court, but until there are changes to the law, he intends to apply it as it is. Now, the judge in today's hearing, though, will issue a written ruling within a week.